Hey everybody, it has been a while since I have done a weekly devotional video. This video, I have already filmed it twice and then chickened out and did not upload it. I'm going to try to do this again. I don't know, yes I do know, it's going to be probably a really rambling video. I've been trying to just like literally narrow my thoughts and get them really focused and then they're just swirling around in my head. And this may end up being a controversial video, but I'm going to try to hit the topic from both sides of the aisle, maybe. <laughs> and hopefully it won't be controversial. I do not like controversy whatsoever. And I, you know, I'm going to do the best I can. And we will see if I get this uploaded or not. But this is going to be on the topic of tolerance. And I, like I said, I want to come at it from both sides. I want to come at it from, well, let me just get started. How about we just do that? So the reason why I really, really wanted to talk about this topic was a, an acquaintance of mine who is extremely socially liberal. And this person has been making a lot of comments on Facebook that are very anti-Christian. And yes, this person has the right to do that. But it really, really, really just kind of made me think that why is it um, unacceptable for a Christian to talk about things that are in the Bible that they feel is wrong and other people say you're supposed to accept everything regardless. And if you don't, you're a hater. But yet, the people that believe that, or at least not everybody, but this one particular person that came to mind, and there's others that are like this person, yet if people don't accept every single thing they believe in, they consider you a hater, you're judgmental, blah, 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 blah. But yet, they refuse to accept Christians. And they hate on them. And I don't understand the double standard. Okay, so that's why I wanted to do this video. So as we know, if you've been anywhere lately that you have been exposed to media, there are a lot of controversial issues. Um, there's always controversial issues, but there's a lot of issues lately that have been um, seen in the media, been talked about in the media, and people are coming down on both sides of the aisle. And you probably can guess what I'm thinking. I don't really want to um, say what they are, but there's been so many things lately across the board, not just on one topic, but across the board. And people have been very vocal about them on both sides. Some people come out in support. Some people have made fun. Some people um, have just really, really just been um, vocal, angry about it. Just, and it's lots of different topics. It's not just one specific thing. Lots of different, different topics from all different, you know, 180 degrees apart. So I kind of wanted to talk about those and tell you my thoughts. I'm not going to get specific on here because I don't like controversy, controversy, and I don't want to just blast someone. And that would never be my intention to blast anybody whatsoever. So, but here's kind of how I see things. Um, number one, in case you haven't figured out, I'm a very conservative person in some respects. Maybe not in the shopping world. I may not be conservative in the shopping world, but uh, you know, I'm socially conservative. I don't uh, ever think I've ever hid that whatsoever. But I want to tell you that regardless of your faith, your beliefs, your feelings, your choices in life, I will not treat you any differently than I would somebody who believes the exact same way that I do, regardless of your your race, your religion, your creed, your beliefs, your lifestyle. I am not going to treat you any differently, so I wanted to throw that out there. And I did want to read a scripture, I just googled it on my phone, and it says, I think this is coming from Matthew 22, around um, 
36, I hope, according to the site. And I googled just the greatest commandment, and I kind of wanted to read this one. And it said, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. And so that's the topic that I really wanted to get down to in the thing about tolerance. Number one, we were commanded to love the Lord the God, love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind. Everything that is within you is to love the Lord. The second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. This could be your, literally your next door neighbor, or it could be with just people that you encounter on a daily basis. Regardless of what they do in life, we are to love them. Granted, it is extremely difficult sometimes. People make it difficult. Yes, they do to love them. But we are to do our best. We are to forgive. We are to love. And on that note, it doesn't mean that because we are commanded to love them and to forgive them, yes we are, it doesn't mean that every single thing they do has to be accepted and um, um, say you're proud of that particular behavior. It doesn't mean you have to do that. It just means we still love people. That's what God, uh, Jesus, commanded us to do. So that's kind of the way I want to hit on the tolerance thing. Yes, as a Christian, I have seen other Christians be extremely intolerant and hateful. As I have seen people who are not Christians do the same thing, be extremely tolerant, intolerant and hateful towards Christians. Hence uh, the person that I was started out the video about. She, and I, I wasn't going to say she, but I just did. Um, she is extremely intolerant towards Christians. And it just really made me think. And I'm like, where is this hate coming from? Not really sure, but it's coming from somewhere. But I, I just wanted to say that regardless of what she says, what she posts on social media, I will not treat her any differently than I would anybody else. And I just kind of wanted to challenge everybody, regardless of your faith, your beliefs, whatever you are, um, not to have intolerance towards other people. And I'm not saying that you have to accept everything they do and be proud of it. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying love that person and don't come at them with just hate-filled comments and things of that nature. Um, that, you know, I'm hoping this is not a controversial video, but, um, you know, just I'm just thinking with everything out there in the media lately, um, social media, the news, there is just so much stuff out there that is just being forced at us. And yes, people get very vocal and you do have a right to your opinion. Um, 100%, yes you do. But I just want to say, think about it before you actually make a comment, before you speak. If you're talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody, it's a whole lot easier to say what you really think about a topic than it is getting up and filming a video and then uploading it. And that's primarily why I am not um, saying specifics because I don't want anybody to think that I hate anybody. I don't. Um, I will say some people, it is hard to like them sometimes. <laughs> yes, it is. But you do forgive and move on and you love them. So I hope this has been somewhat of a helpful video. Not really sure, but just from seeing um, even, even YouTube videos, I will say, you know, some people say very shocking, very controversial things, and people just get very, very passionate about the topic. I completely get it. I do. But when someone states an opinion, not necessarily hateful, what just surprises me, I guess, overall is that they didn't say anything hateful. They just said what they believed. Yet people who don't believe that same way just sling mud and just hate them. I don't get that. I really don't get that. And what I do see a lot of times is people saying, you know, 
Christians are the most intolerant, the most judgmental people on the face of this earth. And I'm going to say this, and then probably wrap this video up. Christians are still people, regardless of their faith. They are still people. People have different personalities. Some are vocal, some are just like in your face. And yes, some of them do hate, but that doesn't mean you should lump them all together whatsoever and say they're all just alike and they're all hateful and judgmental. As a Christian, I believe what the Bible says, and the, Bi and the Bible and God have given commandments. One of them I just read, they've all, um, he, God has also given other things out and has said other things are sin and not to do other things. I stand by that and I support what the Bible says. Um, you may not like that and if you want to unsubscribe to my channel for me saying that, feel free to do so. But what I'm also saying is that even though I have very strong beliefs, I am very passionate about it, it doesn't mean that because someone does something that I'm going to hate them whatsoever and treat them differently. I am not. And so I just wanted to throw this video out there. I think I will upload it um, and let me know what you guys think. Again, I didn't mean to be controversial and I know I was very generalized and not specific, but think of it what you want, whatever comes to your mind. Um, so I hope you guys are all having a blessed and wonderful week so far. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody.